on the show. Marcus Stroman gets the ball for the Mets in this one. What's your take on him, Dan? Well, this guy's kind of unique. How about a five-pitch repertoire that he has? That gives him a lot of options for both righties and lefties. And if he's on, he could be really tough to hit. So here's Trey Mancini. He will lead this one off today. Leading off the afternoon for Baltimore, the first baseman, Trey Mancini. First offering. In there, no balls and a strike. First pitch, 12 10. The pitch. And this misses the outside corner, so it's knotted up at one and one. Two balls and a strike to the Orioles' first baseman. That's where he wants that sinker to end up, but that was a nice job of laying off. On a good pitch there, had him stretching to get out there, and it's two and two now. I'm sure the boys are going to blow him up in the clubhouse for that ugly swing right here, but he has a chance to regroup. Take a deep breath, take a step out of the box, and know you got a few to play with. But this will be gloved out there at second as he didn't have far to go for the out. Batting second, the left fielder, Austin Hayes. So the next to bat will be Austin Hayes. Now the first pitch. That's three straight sliders in a row. I'd be shocked. I would be shocked if he went to that well a fourth time. I'd be looking heater. And he takes strike two. And there are the umpires assigned to this one. Calling balls and strikes is Mr. Carl Dixon. Dan, this is an offensive player's dream to have Carl Dixon behind the dish. He is tight on the corners. He is, d -Row. And listen, he makes you bring the ball into the strike zone. Normally, high scoring of games when Carl's behind one the ball. dish. One ball and two strikes to count. A ball and two strikes. Here's the pitch. Swing and a liner. And he will make the play out there, and there are two away now. Batting third, the catcher, number 28, Pedro Severino. Next to stand in is Pedro Severino. He enters play hitting down in the 240s for the year. First delivery to him. Check swing too close to call so the appeal goes down to Eric Summersgill who says he did go around at strike one. Checks his swing but this will be strike two called. When I see guys check swinging they're, they're not seeing the baseball they're not picking it up. You got to take a step back. The only thing you tell yourself in this situation is do not move your head. Pilar is in his tracks now as he tucks this one away to retire the side. One, two, three, go the Orioles. And now the Mets offense will go to work for the first time. No score. John Means, a Kansas-born left-hander, will be doing the pitching. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? Hey, it's hard to have all four of your pitches on, but I think if this guy can have two or three of his four pitches and have command of them, he's going to have a really good game. Leading Jeff up. McNeil will be the next to take the a turn. Baseman. He'll lead things off Number here in six. the bottom half of the first. Now here's the pitch. Off the outside that time as the breaking ball can't catch the zone. The 1-0. Now he spins on one here and drives it to deep right field. And this ball is gone. No chance to make a play on that one. 
So it's a solo home run to lead off the bottom of the first. Fourth home run for him on the season, and the Mets are on the board first, one to nothing. Yeah, we always talk about how important it is to spot your starter or run or two early in the game, and he does just that, blasting a no-doubt bomb that serves notice. They're going to be swinging with the wood here. No better way to get the home crowd into it right out of the gates. So here's Francisco Lindor now. Ball one to start the at-bat. Into his windup, here comes the 1 0. Now, a half swing here as he wanted to pull it back, but he does so too late. It's strike one. No outs, nobody on. And now a fastball, but he's able to hold off on it, and it's 2 and 1 now. If you're on the mound right here, you got to trust your catcher and execute. You know who's coming up to the plate. A three-ball, one-strike count to the Mets shortstop. They know the threat this guy poses at the plate. I know it's a 3-1 in this situation right here, but I cannot believe for the life of me this pitcher is going to come anywhere near the middle of the zone. The 3-1. High in the air down the right field line. Bases are empty here. Nobody out. A late swing here as this is hit hard to the right side. Ah, but that finds the first baseman's glove, and that's Batting a tough third. first out. The first baseman, Pete Alonzo. No one on with one down, and up steps the power bat of Pete Alonzo. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. One out, nobody on. A ball and a strike to the Mets' first baseman. A ball and two strikes now. Here comes the one two. Oh, and you can tell he wanted to hold off, but he swings through the inside pitch anyway, and he becomes out number two. That was a nasty-looking slider that time. Yeah, that was really well executed, Matt. A classic strikeout pitch. You think it's fastball middle in, then it starts bearing in on your back leg, and unless you hit it out front, there's nothing much you can do with that. Stepping in now, James McCann. As he'll look at a fastball in there on the outer half, it's 0-1. Looking to get on base and keep this first inning alive. Pitch on the way. Swing and a ball hit well to the right side, but this will get into the crowd. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 2 pitch. He sends it out to left field. Well hit. See you later. Over the wall, a home run. A solo shot here to left. Home run number two for him on the year as the Mets are out in front now, two to nothing. Well, it's very early, but he's looked out of sorts from the beginning. They've already roughed him up for two homers, and they're not done yet. We'll see if he can regroup or he blows up. Could go either way at this point. At the plate, not Michael good. Conforto. The right field. As he'll watch a slider that runs out of the strike Conforto. zone away for ball one. 
They say the toughest pitch in baseball is a located fastball. I disagree. That nasty slider is tough to hold up on. Into the corner and slicing foul. Here's the one and one delivery. Good hard slider at 88. It's one and two now. Wow, not sure what you're looking for right there, but that one was pretty much middle, middle, center cut. Tough pitch to take. Even count, two balls and two strikes. And that's low, so a good eye there as he works the count back full. Well, you don't see it all that often, but this might be a good time for a 3 2 change. If he can locate it, it's nearly impossible to hit. They'll whip this one to first in time, and that ends the inning. I'll give the enthusiasm a 10, the dancing a uh, 4. No shame, and you got to love it. More matinee baseball here on a Wednesday afternoon following this. So now it'll be the four hole hitter, Michael Franco. He'll get us started in the top of the second. You know, these next couple innings are really important for these guys. I know they're only down by a couple, but they need to get something going on offense to keep pace, even though it's early. And the first pitch of the inning here misses down and in for a ball. It's 1 and 0. That evens it up 1 and 1. Now here it comes. Good riding action to that thing and it's balled and two strikes. Fooled pretty badly there as he reaches to poke this one foul. Great job right there. Scrambling a nasty breaking ball off the plate. And that one misses badly. It's ball two. Wow. Kind of an interesting pitch call there. The batter flailed at the pitch away on the previous one. So you'd think you'd go right back there. But instead they decided to come in. Make him prove he can adjust before you do. And a slider. Oh, got a favorable call on that one as that's the first out of the inning. Well, that call looked like it was a little in the pitcher's favor, but it wasn't outrageous. Hey, listen, calling balls and strikes is a really tough job, and even the best are going to miss some from time to time, especially when they're sort of borderline like that last one. Not sure the hitter would want to hear that, though. Um, he goes with the slider that time, and it's driven to deep right field. Gone! A solo shot here to straightaway right field. Home run number two for him on the year. As the Orioles have cut into the deficit, it's now a two to one ball game. There's an old saying in the game they say solo homers won't kill you. This might be a good time for a mound visit right here. Try and erase those negative thoughts and get right back in the zone. You still have the lead. In now, Freddie Galvis. And he puts it on the ground to second. A dive, but he can't knock it down. It's through for a base hit. There's a hard hit ground ball. Pitcher not able to get a glove on it. Hard single up the middle. Yeah, watch your lips right there, Dad. Sent it back right where it came from. To the plate now, Cedric Mullins. Back up the middle and in for a base hit. Batting it. The right fielder, number 14, Rio Ruiz. Rio Ruiz to the plate now. As the changeup to him drops in there for the first strike. Still struggling at the plate with an average well under 200. Three homers and six RBIs. Oh one, here's the pitch. Sliced hard, but foul to the left. Galvis over at second. Mullins at first, one gone. 
Really pulled that one across as the slider misses well inside. Neither guy willing to give in, and the ad battle continue. Just a bit low. A tough call, but it's two and two. Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate, and he'll have another shot at it here. Sinker, three and two now. These are the kind of ABs, regardless of the outcome. You go back to the dugout as an offensive player, and your teammates are loving on you for making that pitcher work and battling it out. Liner in there for a base hit. And they'll hold that runner at third as everybody moves up a base, and they're loaded with one away. That base hit was screaming off the bat, and our show track technology more than confirms it. 111 miles an hour was the exit velocity of that line drive. At the plate now, John Means, as he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. He's trying to at least tie this one up here, if not bring home a couple and take over the lead here in the early going. A ball and a strike to the Oriole hurler. Breaking ball that time that misses out of the zone. It often becomes harder to hit the zone when the pressure starts to heat up. Now the 2 1. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Catch made in left. Here comes the runner for the plate. And this will get into the books as a sack fly and an RBI, and we are tied at two. Obviously, he's hoping for more up there with the bases loaded, but you can't be too upset with the sack fly. And here's the big right-handed power threat, Trey Mancini. 0 for 1 here in the early going. Ready to deliver. Here comes the first pitch. Now a swing and a softly hit ground ball. He's set. The 0 1. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0 2. Owen 2. Here it is. Hey, that's a nice take by the batter right there, but that's a non-competitive off-speed pitch. Got to do better to at least entice a swing. Lofted in the air out to right field. Conforto is under it, and he makes the catch for out number three. So it's two runs on four base hits. No errors and a couple of men left on. On now to the bottom of the second, and we are tied 2-2. Digging in will be Jonathan Villar. He's set to lead off the home the half of the second. Jonathan Villar. First pitch of the A.B. on its way. There's a fastball called for a strike on the inside corner. This is lined to left. But he'll hardly need to move out there in left.